G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He never gives up, he'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. attack on the G.I. Joe Sky Strikers, Cobra and Destro use their ultra-sophisticated mass device to steal America's most powerful satellite, kidnap Pute, the leader of the Joe team, and terrorize the world by disintegrating the Eiffel Tower. Scarlet, Wild Bill, and Gung Ho fly to a New England farm to rescue a famous scientist and learn the only way to stop Cobra is to build their own mass device. But to fuel it, they must search the globe for three precious elements and get them before Cobra does or all is lost. After a tremendous battle in Cobra's arena of sport, Duke escapes with the help of the beautiful slave girl Selena while Snake Eyes risks his life for one of the precious elements, and Cobra turns the world's leaders into mindless slaves. As we begin our third episode, The Worms of Death. Surrender to the new order of Cobra starting at noon tomorrow, or suffer my wrath. Devastation, ruin, chaos! <laughs> <laughs> Egotistical peacock, doesn't he realize our supply of catalytic elements is too low to activate his wild threats, and an empty threat destroys our credibility. But we retain the upper hand, Destro. G.I. Joe failed to get the red crystals. We have failed as well, my dear Baroness. Your concern is unfounded. Major Blood may yet succeed in bringing back the crystals. He must succeed. He must. Haven't you programmed the repair module yet? If we're not out of here before nightfall, we could freeze to death. Ready now, sir. Then send it in to do its work. This robot will bring out the crystals and deal with any G.I. Joe survivors. Repair the search androids! It'll flush them out or finish them off. Look! There was someone alive in there! A walking time bomb. Let him go. He'll die soon enough. Think back, Duke. There is a picture there, Duke. Look at it. Describe it. You are in the Cobra hideout. Focus. Concentrate. Yes, I can see something. I do see something. Someone, really. She's coming in clear. She's in danger. And, and that's all I remember. Hey, we're here. All right, let's get topside. We are right over the deepest trench in the ocean floor. At the bottom lies a pool of heavy water. The second of the three catalytic elements we've got to get before Cobra beats us to it. You know your team assignments. Buddy up and get into your diving gear. We're going over the side. Yes, come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I believe none of us knows doodly squat about deep sea diving. So who do we have to ramrod this operation? Good question, Stalker. And here comes a good answer. Look at that! Oh, hey, look at that. That's Moby Dick. I'm checking out.
There are only two things to remember. Take your lead from Torpedo. This is his turf. And don't get out of your depth suit or the pressure down there will crush you like a grape. Hey. Good luck and happy hunting. Okay, straighten up your formations. Synchronize depth gauges. Ready? Going down. <laughs> Hang on to your head here, guys. We're going where few have gone and fewer still have ever returned. Yeah! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Now, back to G.I. Joe. Young, strong man, you are to sure. But what you are doing in these bleak hills, I do not know. But you will surely freeze to death if you're not given shelter. <whistles> Easy now, boy, steady. Whatever's disturbing, you will have to wait. We're up. Mush! On your husky! Ah! <laughs> your crystals, Destro! Mission accomplished! Excellent, Major Blood! I salute you! Now we lack but two of the precious elements which will make us invincible. Only the G.I. Joe team stands against us. But if we can get the remaining elements before they get them, there'll be no stopping us. The planet will be ours! <laughs> There's a bottom coming up. We'll step down on that sort of plateau over there. And watch out for that fissure. The stuff flowing out of there is molten sulfur. The water around it is hard enough to hard boil an elephant. So keep away. Those odd columns. I've seen them before. So have I. In a nightmare. I've got it. They look like giant tube worms. Giant tube worms? Yeah! Hey, do your worm warrior later. Right now, activate your pressure suits. Let's find that heavy water and get out of here. This could be a hairy detail, so maintain radio contact at all times. The heavy water pool should be somewhere down there. Check your coordinates and move in. Looks like a pretty bad neighborhood. Oh, I wouldn't say that. See? No graffiti. <laughs>
Partnership, too. Now, give us your heavy water as well. We had a deal, Baroness. A deal? With Cobra? <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. Yo, Joe! Now, let everybody back off. It cannot end this way. <laughs> We got what we can for it. Let's not hang around. I'm with you. Ah, we have no time to pursue the fools. We have both the crystals and heavy water. One more element to go, and then we are victorious. <laughs> Dr. Vandermeer, we got the heavy water, but we're still two elements short for your mass device. If you don't get them soon, Duke, it may not matter. The Cobra Commander demands G.I. Joe surrender at once, or he'll disintegrate New York City. Your radiation sickness has gone, me bucko. The simple dressing of leaves and herbs draws out the contamination. And you're none the worse for it. Your uniform and mask are on the wall behind you. I cannot see, so I do not know why you cover your face, lad. But whatever terrible disfigurement is there, I can see into your heart, and that is sound and true. You can't deny it, lad. <laughs> your loyal wolf friend here, he needs a name. How about... Timber? Yes, it is a perfect moniker. You'll not be going without this, I think. I went back for it. It was easy to find. It's humming and warm like it is. Now, 
One thing more before you go traipsing off into the snow. There's an old ice boat moored at the eastern end of the Sea of Ice, just over the rise. Cross over in that, and you'll soon reach civilization. Saints protect you! Both of you! This is a step in the right direction. But New York has had it if G.I. Joe doesn't surrender. I wish I could see some other alternative. If we give up, Cobra will have a stranglehold on the world. We've got to keep fighting. Somehow. Uh, me and Steela maybe got something. You know how Cobra needs the Relay Star satellite to send a mass energy beam down on New York? Yeah, short fuse. Go on. Well, you see, Steel and me was talking, and I said to him, Steeler, buddy, I said... Will you tell him already? I'm telling him. I gotta tell him my way, though. So anyway, I said to Steeler... There's no time to tell it your way. What me and short fuse figured was, if we could knock out that satellite, Cobra couldn't do nothing to the big apple. So we built this here doohickey with Clutch's help. It's a killer satellite. It's all mounted in a portable launch gantry and everything. Oh, well, what do you think? Crude, roughly constructed, but magnificent. It just might do the job. A little closer, a little closer to the relay star, and we can blow it to bits. Shot troops to the grid at once! Hurry! This will use up our last remaining bit of the third metallic element, but we have no choice. <laughs> Surrender now, unless you can summon up a miracle. <gasps> Guess who I just picked up at the outer perimeter? I heard a relay alarm kick in. You were all busy, so I went for a look-see. And here's Snake Eyes! I don't know how you made it back, Snake Eyes. You were too tough to be finished off by some dumb old crystals. <laughs> hey, who's your friend? These crystals give us a chance to meet Cobra head on, mass to mass, and a chance is all we need. Yo, Joe! <laughs> Something's bugging your big bad wolf, Snake Eyes. Well, maybe you. That smoke! The canister! It's a booby trap! If it blows, we're all cosmic dust! <laughs> <laughs> the fumes! <laughs> they have paralyzing properties! <laughs> Must get rid of Thong before <laughs> too late! <laughs> G.I. Joe will return after these messages. In our next episode, New York trembles on the brink of destruction and Stalker agrees to surrender the G.I. Joe team while Scarlet, Wild Bill, and Gung Ho fly into an erupting volcano and battle Cobra and Destro for the final element. We're gonna lift that sucker! This is Wilder and the Bronco with the cactus saddle! Yeah! Cut the cables! Cobra! We're in big trouble. Eye in the sky, going high. Gunk Joe is going low. G.I. Joe, American hero. G.I. Joe is there. Oh, 
only with the final element do the Joes have a fighting chance, but it's a chance that may cost Scarlet her life. All in Duel in the Devil's Cauldron, our next exciting episode of G.I. Joe, a real American hero.